Now, some students of the Tema Senior High School have described as great education, fun, and an experience of a lifetime after a practical demonstration of how the Archimedes principle of the hot air balloon in science works. The students joined media personality Jerry Justice and comedian Funny Face, who flew the hot air balloon as part of the Cow Bell in the Sky project. Joining us is Komla Dome has more in the following report. This is a crew generating enough air to enable the balloon float. Major personality Jerry Justice and comedian Funny Face are ready to fly. Are you sure you are not scared? Oh no. If you see me dodging, I'm, I'm dodging camera. That's brother they fear. It looks scary though, but man, I, I'm cool, I'm cool. Um, since they are here with us, I think it's going to be all right. So, yeah. <laughs> The takeoff point is somewhere at Dawinya, and the trip is expected to take 45 minutes. The team, however, landed some 10 minutes earlier than expected, close to the Afinia Stone Quarry site, and pilot Korn Ordina explains why. We decided to land here about uh, a bit more than half an hour because this was a perfect road for the retrieve cars to drive on. And in the direction we were flying, I couldn't see any roads like these. And in order to avoid trouble with the cars getting stuck in the fields, I decided to land here. How would you say the experience with the two individuals on board this particular flight? How was it? Did you, did you have them terrified at some point? Well, um, a funny face, but he was a bit scared. He was constantly <laughs> sitting on his knees in the bus and uh, he even started to play some music I think to relax huh? and he was very busy in the basket the other two guys were, were uh, teasing him hey, be a man stand up be a man so there was an extremely good atmosphere in the basket I engaged the two personalities on the experiences and while Jerry Jassis was sure he was bold in the sky funny was not so sure of himself it wasn't like me I, I wasn't afraid I, I was I was from the beginning especially when they were inflating it and you know, looking at the fire and the sound, <laughs> like, I, I was scared though. Um, but when I got on board, I spoke to the pilot. He schooled me as to how, you know, the flight and all of that. And I was comfortable then. So I started videoing and uh, taking selfies up there. Even the pilot at the point was giving me morale, <laughs> you know, because in this life, defend everybody's destiny. Okay. And once we're there, Jerry, and my other friend, they were both, they were standing. But me, in there, I saw life from a different angle. After I got down, my brother, that's the first thing I did. And I said, God, you were a supernatural being. The team visited the Temat Senior High School after the flight. Students there were then taken through the practical application of the Archimedes principle of how the hot air balloon works. These Form 3 science students want the technology mainstreamed to boost Ghana's tourism potential. So from our distance observation, I observed that the balloon has been fueled up. And we asked whether it was a fuel, but he told us that it's not a fuel, but it's a gas. We asked which type of gas. He said it can be a helium gas, it can be a hydrogen gas. What I see here, we can promote it in Ghana by using it in tourist sites and other wide plains so that we can attract more people in Ghana, which save us a revenue for the country. As part of a week-long exercise, media personality Israel Lai will be joined by cowbell celebrity Nanaba Anamwa to fly on the balloon. Head of events and PR manager at Cowbell Gideon Kodo explains. The next flight is tomorrow. Uh, it's going to take the same routine. I will be doing a school visit, which is Chemu Senior High School, which forms part of some activities for uh, their upcoming speech and prize given day. This is a wrap of day one or phase two of Cowboy in the Sky project. Komladum for joining us. <laughs>